Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to interface or how to use a servo motor with the Arduino Uno in the SimulID platform. So how we can do that? First of all, we will go to our component section and here we will search manually for our Arduino Uno. So here it is. Click on it and drag it out. And uh, we can click on zoom to fit so that we can see it properly. After this has been done, we need to go and search for our motors, that is servo motor. We can click and take it out. So it has three pins, that is V positive, ground and signal pin. And before going towards our circuit, you must know that what a servo motor is. It is a it is a type of motor to which we will give certain certain commands okay and it will rotate its shape to a specific location or specific point and we can connect this v positive to that of 5 volt and ground with that of ground and signal pin must be connected with any of the pw M pins uh, because uh, these pins are pulse width modulated. So better is to connect uh, the signal pin with any PWM. And here we have connected it with the pin number 9. So after this has been done, we will go towards our coding. So now here we will import our library that is called as hash include servo.h servo.h so this is our library it contains all sort of functions okay uh, which we have which we will use for our uh, servo motor so so we are not going into the complexities but we will just use this servo library for calling our function after you have called the library then we will write servo my underscore servo uh, what is this actually this is the object object of that major class so servo is our major class and my underscore servo is the object of that particular class means that we, we, we will call all sort of functions with the help of this object uh, you can write any other name here so after this has been done we will write white setup this is white setup and here we will write uh, my underscore servo dot attach now we we have to declare the pin to which our servo motor is going to attach that is pin number nine and six hundred and twenty three hundred this is the maxi minimum and maximum uh duration for the pulses and here we write wide loop so here our wide loop is there we will write a uh, my underscore servo dot write now, now now dot write function will actually turn our shaft of the motor to a specific location to a precise specific location so my servo dot write here we will write zero first it will be zero then delay of 1000 and then my underscore servo Thirty. Okay, so it is delay and this. So now we run it out. Let's say my servo dot write. Okay, my servo dot write. Run it out. Now you can see that after compilation is done we have dot hex file link here so we can copy it out copy it out and here right click on it go to mega 328 go to properties we will paste the link here press enter and firmware successfully loaded now we can run it out now you can see that our motor
Okay, wait, let me see. Uh, it's written my servo right. Okay, we have written good. Okay, let's make it 50. Run it out. Okay, again, properties and this. Now you can see that servo motor is going to 30 and then come back 0, 30. And like if you want to, oh sorry, 50. So if we, we will write 100. Again, go to there and there and. Now you can see that. Our motor is moving to a uh, location of 100, 100 degrees. So in this way, we can move the shift of our motor to any precise location. So hopefully you got the concept that how you can use the servo motor with the Arduino Juno within the SimulID simulator. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.